I walked in on Casey. Guess what he was doing? Casey was editing the intro to his next vlog and he was using the gap clip method. He put a gap clip in his main timeline and then was editing above the timeline. But I told him there was a better way. I told him to use the magnetic timeline. I told him to select his clips, right click on it, and select overwrite to primary storyline. Now when he wants to add footage and edit, the magnetic timeline does its magic and automatically moves clips for him. Then I saw Casey moving a clip and then moving the attached title and audio back to where it was before in time. But there's a way better way to do that. So I told him to hold down the tilde key while he moved the clip and the connected title and sound stayed in place. Next, I caught Casey dragging and dropping his files into Final Cut Pro. There's a better way to import because if the file changes location, like we eject this card, then it breaks in Final Cut Pro. See, now the file's missing. I showed him a better way. First, I told him to open up his preferences and under import, make sure copy to library storage is set. Then I told him to use the import function with command I and to create an archive. I told him to select his camera disk and click on create archive to save the archive. I told him this will create a bit for bit copy of your car and you'll never have lost media again. So now he can import through the archive. Then I saw Casey trimming clips by dragging the end handles and the beginning handles. But there's a better way. I showed him these shortcuts that can trim as you're playing back. Option left bracket and option right bracket. And that you can use them while you're playing back to trim the start and end of your clip. It even works on titles. Set the start and then the end. It's way faster than clicking and dragging to make your edits. Are you enjoying this video? Is it helpful? I know Casey likes it. Give it a thumbs up if so. Then I saw Casey dragging and dropping clips to his timeline. But it's so slow. So I taught Casey how to use these shortcuts First, select the video you want, skim your playhead to where you want it to go, and press Q to attach that clip to your primary storyline or timeline. You can also select your clip and then move your playhead to where you want it to insert and press W. If you want to add a clip to the end of your timeline, just select your clip and press E and it adds it to the end of the timeline. You can also overwrite your primary timeline. Move your playhead to where you want to overwrite and then press D and the clip will overwrite whatever's in the primary timeline. Later on, I saw Casey trying to make some changes to his video. He wanted to open up the inspector, so he went to Window, Show in Workspace, and selected Inspector. But there's a faster way to show the inspector. You can press Command-4 to open it and close it, or you can click on this little button up here with these three sliders to show the inspector. Then I saw Casey trying to use the inspector and make changes. He had a bunch of effects in it, so he had to scroll down to make some changes, and then scroll back up to make other changes. I showed him a cool way to expand the inspector. Just double click on the name of the clip to expand the inspector the whole height of the window. Now he doesn't have to scroll up and down to access the different parameters. I saw Casey trying to make a new title for his vlog. He went to the titles browser and he would drag and drop the title onto his clip. Then he would change the text. But I told him there's a faster way to do that. I told him to go back to one of his previous vlogs and select his title that he made and turn it into a compound clip by pressing Alt G and naming it and then pressing enter. Now he has a compound clip that he can add to any of his 
videos and vlogs and make any changes. So he went to his new vlog and he added the compound clip to his vlog. Then he selected the compound clip and pressed shift command G to break apart the compound clip. And now he can make a change to it and it won't affect the compound clip. That's a much faster way to add titles than to create a new one every time. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. I haven't personally seen Casey do these things, but I have seen him do some of them on his vlogs, and I hope this video is helpful. I made another video I think you'll like called How to Make a Mask in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out. No hate, Casey. All love. Enjoy this video. Go ahead, click it. <laughs>